the heck is up you guys it's your boy ace aka animated heroes here back with another action figure review today we're going to be taking a look at the sh figure arts undead unluck andy and i do want to go ahead and make it clear that i know absolutely nothing about this anime at all and i would imagine that probably makes many of you guys happy because that means there's not going to be any biased i'm going to give you guys exactly how i feel about this figure as we review it so anyway let's go ahead and get started diving right into the sexy packaging Now, if you look at the box, you can see that it is more on the slim, slender side in comparison to the Narutop 99 release. We also have Fuko on the side, who I will be reviewing next, alongside Andy, because these two figures go together. But as you can see, most of the box is white. You do have some pink and some turquoise or like baby blue-ish type color uh, for the packaging, which I'm cool. I love an artistic style. I actually wish that there was more baby blue on here, uh, but as you can see we got the window where you can see the figure looking really good in there he looks very serious by the way um then you got him right here with the sword with this kind of maniacal laugh it says bandai namco sh figures tamashi nation's bandai at the bottom full image of him on this side right here with the sword why does it look like it's going through his arm um you guys can tell me that in the comments. Um, on this side, you don't really have much going on. On the top, we've got him in kind of attacking pose. Got him in a running pose on the bottom. And then, of course, on the back, you got some poses you can get the figure into, as well as some of the accessories and then a bunch of stuff I cannot read because I imported this figure from Ami Ami in case you guys want to know where to get it. And anyway, let's go ahead and bust this guy right out of the packaging so we can see what this figure is all about. So straight out of the packaging, I do want to go ahead and give you guys a disclaimer just because I don't know how many of you saw a post I made a few days ago. My old tripod that had my ring light on it did, it broke entirely and there was nothing I could do to fix it. And so I had to go back, I had to get a new one and this one is completely different functionality wise. And uh, so I'm trying to figure out how to record and use this thing giving you guys at least close to the same style as I did before. Now, you guys probably won't even notice any difference, but I am definitely uh, doing a lot of things different. But if you don't, then cool. If you do, then I am sorry, but I'm going to try to get it together. But anyway, right out of the packaging, man, I got to be honest, this figure looks really, really cool. Um, there are some things that I didn't notice when I saw the promo images for this guy. And of course, we're gonna talk about that when we take a closer look at it. But for just a suited figure, right? A kind of almost like henchman-esque style character. This is a figure I would say, even if you don't know this character and you just wanna add like a suited body to your collection, this is one that would be dope to add, yo. He looks like a very big brawler, like, and I said brawler. Bro, I was thinking of Broly. Brawler. Like, this guy looks like he really throws the hands. And I'm definitely going to do some research on this guy after I finish this review. But for now, let's go ahead and take a closer look at him so we can examine the details. Now, one of the first things I noticed about this figure when I pulled it out of the packaging that I didn't see when I was looking at the promo images are, this guy's got a sword or some kind of weapon stuck in his head, yo. Like you can see it kind of sticking out of there. And that is strange. Like this is on all of his face plates. And so that means that this is basically something that's key to the character. This isn't something that just happens in a particular scene and then we never see it again. Like this is part of who he is. And I guess that's why his other eye is a little bit squinted. That's interesting. I've never seen anything like this before in all of the anime that I have watched. Um, but I'm sure maybe some of you guys who've seen some stuff I haven't seen, this is nothing new to you, but it's an interesting choice. I've never seen this in, in any kind of popular anime, and this definitely looks like it's meant to be one of the popular shonen. Now, anyway, when it comes to the hair sculpt, nothing special, uh, kind of slick back hair, and he does have a few bangs too sticking down that you can see. And when it comes to the paint on this guy, um, I've got a little paint splotch right there that I think is gonna wipe off. I've got a paint splotch on the back of the hair here too. 
Um, and then I've also got one in the white right here. So not the cleanest right out of the packaging, but again, I'm sure all of this is going to come off. I just, before any of you guys started pointing it out in the comments, I wanted to make it aware that I do see it. And there's also one right here. So I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, on to the suited body. This is definitely one of the better suited bodies I've seen. Uh, he's got the red tie, which looks cool. The white undershirt. Uh, then he's got the sleeves rolled up. He looks like he's really ready for business, man. Like he's ready to throw hands. You see the forearms out, muscled up, yo. This guy really looks like he's about to throw a punch and it's it's super cool. Um, and then of course you do have the pants. I love that they put the wrinkles around the crotch area. Uh, that it just gives that that more realistic or accurate to the anime slash manga look. I don't know if this even has an anime. You guys tell me in the comments, but um, it's cool. I do dig that. Uh, I like the creases in the pants. And then even down to the dress shoes, everything on this guy looks really good, man. He's overall a very good looking figure. Not the cleanest out of the packaging just because of some of the paint issues I have. But I am going to try and get some of that off before I dive into the articulation. Now, when it comes to the height on this guy to the top of his head, as you can see, he's about six and a quarter inches, not quite six and a half. Very, very tall figure. It at least by SH Figure Art standards. And of course, we will be doing some size comparisons a little bit later to see how he stacks up to other SH Figure Arts that I have in my collection. And then just some other random stuff that I may throw in. So sadly, the paint splotch was not about coming off. I got some of it off of the hair, but everything else looks like it is there to stay. Now, if you guys know some tricks I don't know, feel free to let me know. But anyway, moving on to the articulation. Uh, he doesn't really look up at all because the hair is going to touch the back of the collar. So there is that. He looks down about that much, which is good. I feel like this guy definitely needs to look down because he just seems like that type of character who's going to tower over everyone. He does get really good tilt and turn. Seems like the head is on a double ball peg. Uh, it's not. It's actually on a hinge, maybe a hinge ball peg. Not entirely sure, but um, it doesn't really have any limitations. So that's good. Uh, normally, Tamashii Nations isn't the best with hinges, but I'm so happy that this works. Uh, so yeah, really good decision. Uh, I still would have preferred a double ball peg, but as long as this doesn't break, I'm okay with it. Arms do go up and out a whole lot more than I was expecting, so that's really cool. Also, he does have a bicep swivel. When it comes to bringing his arms in, he can bring them in much more than I expected because he has a pretty broad torso, but these butterfly joints are super effective, so that's really good, man. He can totally sucker punch somebody in the face and it not be a problem now when it comes to the elbows this is interesting because i want to show you guys i've never seen this before so if you look right here there's actually a joint and then at the lower forearm there's a joint as well and so it's two different points of articulation so if you move just the forearm you get that but then if you move the upper or lower bicep, you get even more range. And it doesn't look weird. Like it looks like it's it's natural movement. So that's pretty damn cool, man. Very, very interesting decision on Tamashi Nation's part. And I do like it. Now, when it comes to the hands, they are on your standard ball peg as expected. And then they move around just fine. Not much hindrance there at all when it comes to the diaphragm. Whoa. <laughs> when it comes to the diaphragm joint, you get a whole lot of movement out of that by itself uh, going forward. Not so much back, but then rocker and everything is there. I'm trying to show just the diaphragm, but that waist is wanting to move as well. But yeah, the diaphragm joint is great. But then when you use the waist, you get even more mobility. So that's super duper cool. Be careful with this uh, tie because it definitely is going to be prone to warping, uh, swiveling, everything. All good, yo. All good. This guy can move for real. When it comes to kicking, whole lot more than I was expecting. Now, I did pop it off because I was doing a little too much. But if you put that back on there and then let me lift his torso, he kicks out about that much. So that's good, man. He can give an enemy the boot. No problem. When it comes to doing the splits, again, I'm pushing it a little too much. 
Uh, hopefully that's not like a, a issue with this guy, but uh, he can do the splits about that much. So that's cool. He does have a thigh swivel, double jointed knees don't look the best, but they do function well enough. Uh, it's just, they kind of look, I don't know, a little weird with the rest of the pants but again functionality is there so i'm not going to complain about that when it comes to the foot it goes down about that much up about that much ankle rocker is there despite the pants so that's good and then he does have a toe hinge so this guy is going to pose you don't have to worry about anything when it comes to this guy you want to pose him fighting uh posed up ready to throw hands again i keep pulling these legs off they do come off a little bit easier than i would like but uh if you want to get this guy I uh, crouch down, getting ready to throw hands with somebody. As you can see, he can do it, man. This figure is extremely mobile. Now, when it comes to accessories, he doesn't come with a whole lot, but you get some pretty interesting stuff, especially in terms of facial expressions. Now, right out of the packaging, he comes with this almost angry look and a pair of fist hands. He then comes with this kind of confused or more irritated look right here, which I do dig. Like, he looks like he is pissed off right here and this is a look i would not want to see on this guy's face uh he then comes with this one where he's kind of laughing maniacally and this just it's giving he's beating someone up while this is happening and then if that isn't bad enough he comes with another sinister grinning face showing a whole lot of teeth man this guy is sick and i'm just not realizing that he has no eyebrows and one thing that i've learned is that you don't mess with guys that don't have eyebrows in anime they're usually very freaking crazy anyway he does come with a pair of finger pistol hands he comes with a pair of sword holding hands and then he comes with a pair of relaxed hands as well he comes with the sword that we saw on the packaging and i was right he comes with a hand where the sword is going through it so again i don't know what this is about but someone tell me please because i'm kind of curious like why is he punching through the sword like, is he going to elbow someone backwards and stab them? That would be kind of crazy. Uh, and then he does come with this, like, death beam effect, which this is kind of cool because I, I saw this and immediately thought Frieza. Now, it's meant to just go on this pointing finger like so, and basically it means you about to get blasted, homeboy. Like, <laughs> somebody's fixing to get cooked with whatever this attack is. Uh, but, yeah, that's pretty much all you get. I'm fine with that. It's more than enough accessories for me, especially considering the fact that I don't know this character. So yeah, I'm okay with this all. Now, I don't know what kind of protagonist this guy is in the series, but I knew it wouldn't be right if I didn't show him standing next to some other anime protagonist, as you guys can see here. First off, we have him standing next to the Demoniacal Fit 3.0 body Goku. We also have him standing next to the SH Figure Arts Naruto 99 Naruto. And then we have him standing next to the SH Figure Arts One Piece Romance Don Luffy. Now, next up for some randoms, here he is standing next to the SH Figure Arts Kimetsu no Yaiba or Demon Slayer Tanjiro Kamado, the SH Figure Arts Street fighter Ryu and then we also have him standing next to the SH figure arts Jujutsu Kaisen Yuji Itadori and then for the random extras here he is standing next to a Figma Boku no Hero Academia or My Hero Academia Deku we also have him standing next to a Jada Toy Street Fighter Chun-Li and a Kyoto Rebel Tech My Hero Academia Kirishima or Red Riot now, all in all, when it comes to my final thoughts on this figure, I'll say it's one that is really cool. I don't really have any issues with it. It's not a personal favorite simply because I don't know anything about this character. And even if I did, he just doesn't seem like a character that I would enjoy that much, even if I was into the series. But that being said... For the figure itself, I think it's a really, really dope figure, man. Now, it does come with its problems. Number one being that the legs pop off way too easy. It has a lot to do with the engineering and the design choice because most of it comes from when you're swiveling the upper body. Whenever you're using the peg that connects the upper half to the lower half of the body, that's once you start seeing those legs pop off. And it can become really annoying really fast especially when you're trying to get this guy all posed up in really dynamic poses which he's fully capable of doing and something like that would make the figure much more enjoyable but once the parts are falling off it just becomes very annoying the only other issue i have with this guy is some of the pants
paint. I don't like paint splotches, yo. And this one, I just wasn't able to get the ones that I have on the figure off. And that kind of sucks, man. Now, Tamashii Nations normally doesn't make mistakes like that. And so this is probably just my copy. More than likely, it's not something that you guys will have to worry about. So I'd say the only issue you probably need to be looking for is the legs popping off. Other than that, everything works effectively. The parts swap on and off as they should with little to no resistance. Uh, I didn't have to heat this guy up or anything. Everything just works. And so in that regard, it is a very smooth figure. I think he comes with a decent amount of accessories. The articulation is phenomenal um and the sculpting detail is just superb so it's a cool figure so that being said of course i recommend it um i don't think that this guy is sold out um I, I don't see a lot of people talking about this figure so it should be pretty easy to get your hands on again i got mine from ami ami if you do plan on picking it up now that being said hope that you guys enjoyed this review if so don't forget to give it a thumbs up that always helps me out subscribe to the channel if you haven't already or you're new here make sure to hit that bell icon so that you're notified whenever i upload new content and last but not least follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of youtube Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe wherever you are and uh, bye.